in this because he's basically allowed his base to just kind of get raked over by those vultures. He didn't do everything he needed to do uh, with those mulisks, and as you can see, uh, the economy for J for up magic still up. Um, he still has that bunker alive, and really he just needs to get a couple marines in that bunker who might be able to fend this off if he continues producing. Jadong, in the meantime, has no economy to speak of whatsoever, uh, but being Zerg, he will be able to kind of recover fairly quickly from that, um, and, and it looks like, yeah, he's just kind of pressing in. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about that uh, up magic, as you can see, he, he doesn't have much of an economy, a little bit of an economy rebuilding for Jadong in the meantime. I really, if I was Jadong, I wouldn't worry as much about the SCVs, I'd just go for the machine shops or something like that. Um, but uh, I think he will be successful. I, I take that back, actually. Going after the SCVs is fine. I still think Jadong's going to come out with this game, even though, as you can see, no economy whatsoever. Absolute standoff. And let's see if uh, these Goliaths are basically going to be able to push this off. And losing a Mutalisk there, that was uh, a a big miscue uh, on Jadong's part. Really, he needed to be going after the Goliath there. He can't lose those Mutalisks. If he loses those Mutalisks, it's definitely be GG for him in Up Magic's favor. And it doesn't look like anything's being produced anymore uh, out of either base. There's a single drone there just hiding near that sunken colony. Um, looks like they're trying to pick the gas part. Now going after the factories. Two more Goliaths being produced. And the question is, is uh, does Up Magic have enough resources in the bank um, to keep producing these Goliaths? And can he eventually fend off these Mutalisks? And right now, lifting off his command center going to try to draw attention to that, or at least use that to kind of protect. Now lifting off all his buildings and pulling them out. I'm not sure um, what he's planning on there. Maybe trying to relocate to uh, another area. Maybe I, I'm just not sure what that uh, what he's trying to do here. Um, single Another Goliath, and he's going to try to protect that Goliath maybe by hovering the buildings above it, but that's not going to be successful. As you can see, I think he's trying to run that Goliath to that Dark Swarm, but isn't going to be able to manage to do so. And I think that's his plan at this point. He's going to go move that factory into the Dark Swarm, and then once he gets the factory in the Dark Swarm, plant it down, um, build to Goliath, and see if he can come back from there. Uh, again, uh, and uh, right now he's going to uh, Jadong's going to come back, try to take out that Vulture. Um, yeah, as you can see, but but Dark Swarm does again. Keep in mind, Dark Swarm does not protect. Um, and as you can see, those Zerglings coming out. Dark Swarm does not protect against. Uh, basically. Excuse me, Dark Swarm does not protect buildings. So if he does push up there and, and building a little closer, it looks like he's going to try to take a secondary. Uh, but again, I, I don't think if Up Magic can do anything. In the meantime, Jadong looks like he's producing a couple more units. I'm going to plant down there a little closer to the Dark Swarm, I guess, so he can build the units and then hope uh, hope to pull those units into the Dark Swarm to protect them from the Mutalisks. But really, even then, I don't know if he's going to be able to protect his uh, secondary. In the meantime, Jadong getting back to production, uh, pulling those Mutalisks back. And <laughs> this is an interesting end of the game here. Um, and going to produce two more Goliaths, but the question is, is are those Goliaths, yeah, going to make a dash for the Dark Swarm now, um, going to try to push up, and we'll see if he manages to make it there, he does in fact manage to make it there, he has the uh, command center hovering above, and that was <laughs> interesting, interesting move for Up Magic, uh, just has that Goliath camped underneath that Dark Swarm, um, and produced another Vulture, I guess he, he realizes he needs to go uh, harass that front, but only a sliver of health left, going to plant mines to, that was clever, going to plant a mine right there to defend against um, any Zerglings that might come out, and just kind of camp everything there. I think that Goliath uh, might be dead now. It might have gotten drawn out by the rest of the Mutalisks. And now the Mutalisks is going to go down and take out the rest of the base. And still, not a lot. As you can see, J Jadong's production just now getting back. I'm going to plant some mines in some very, basically in Dark Swarms across the map, just in case some uh, some Zerglings come across. Up Magic, I, even though this is a very, uh, I like this kind of last, uh, last second pull, loses that Vulture right there. Uh, I don't think there's anything he can do. And there, GG's realizing he's out of the game. Um, but very, very interesting play. As you can see, Upmagic just very creative. Uh, and really, I enjoyed that game. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Go check out sc2gg.com. A new season of iCups up. Uh, iccup.com. <coughs> International Cyber Cup. If you're looking for a good brood game, want a good ladder that they're just not around these days as much. Also, uh, the, the, the World Game Tour, WGTour. Dot com also up for StarCraft. Go check those out, and if you need some, basically, some assistance with your game, go check out sc2gg.com. I got Combat and Gravity in there, uh, giving advice. Hope you guys enjoyed that commentary. I'll see you guys later.